What's happening guys? So today we're going to talk about indoor and outdoor navigation using computer vision in augmented reality. So the first thing we do is scan the environment for feature points in order to train our neural network and allow relocation in any area. Then we drop a target in any location in order to pinpoint our destination. Lastly, we relocate and select our target destination and simply navigate. The Stardust SDK supports AR navigation in both indoor and outdoor scenarios. So in this tutorial, we're going to go over the demo that we have on our GitHub and we're going to show you how to set it up and how you can modify it. As usual, we got to download first the project from our GitHub repository, link down below. And when you open it, you're going to notice that the Unity version is 2020.3.22. So try and use that so that you don't have any issues when you're starting up. When you open up the project, you're going to notice that there's only one scene available. And that's because we wanted to simplify the project and only keep the relocation part in. So that um, if you want to map, you're going to have to either use the official app from the App Store or you're going to have to uh, implement it by yourself. I highly recommend you guys to check our GitHub and reference our samples from there because it's going to help you out in the long now, run. There are three key features in our demo that we need to address. Number one is the custom path renderer, which is responsible for rendering anything that you want on the navigation path to your target destination. Number two is the navigation demo class and the navigation control class. These are basically the brains of all the navigation. The navigation demo class is responsible for initializing and fetching any data that we are going to be using for the navigation. It's also going to be populating the list of targets and all that stuff. And lastly, number three, which is going to be the guidebot that I mentioned, which is basically a game object that is going to guide us through the path and we're going to be following it around. So let's address the custom path renderer, which is the class that is responsible for rendering anything that we want on the navigation path. So let's start by checking out the class and noticing that it's not a, a mod behavior and it doesn't technically need to be. That's because we're going to be handling all the, the information through events. Since we're overriding the default method of rendering the path here, we have to let it be known by setting the custom path renderer on the navigation demo class. While we're here, we're also going to be setting the waypoint list that we got from the custom path renderer into our bot controller so that he knows which points in space he has to traverse in order to get to the final destination so that at least he knows his way around. Keep in mind that this class is the access point to the waypoint list in space so we can technically modify it as much as we want. And in this demo, we actually subdivide the waypoint list into smaller midpoints so that we have a more complex path and we can actually put the arrows next to each other instead of being so sparsed out. Then we got an additional feature to our demo, which is the 2D compass, which basically just points to our target in space and displays it in 2D, just like a regular compass does. It's a cool alternative to waving your arms around using the augmented reality feature on your app. And the only thing you have to do is call the initialize function on the arrow controller and it will set the bull flag to update the position on every frame. Now moving on to the guidebot, it's basically going to be our virtual tour guide and we went with a robot, but you can technically use anything that you want or modify the existing one. It contains a world space canvas for the UI where you can interact with it and choose the destination target and also initialize the navigation. It also contains a trail renderer to give it some spice for the movement. And finally, it contains the guidebot controller, which is the brains of the robot, telling it how to move, how to rotate, and basically initialize the navigation. It uses the move to next target method in order to traverse from waypoint to waypoint from the list that was given to us when the event on the display path class gets called. Lastly, we need to reverse the waypoint list when we start the navigation so that we don't start from the end to the beginning. Once you're all ready to go, don't forget to add your API key to all the Stardust SDK components, change the company name as well as the bundle identifier, and you should be ready to build. If you don't have an API key yet, it's pretty easy to get one. Just register on stardust.neogoma.com, then go on to your dashboard, my subscriptions, scroll down to the developer token, copy it, and you're ready to go. And that's it for the Stardust Navigation demo, guys. Uh, as you can see, it's not complicated at all. I want you guys to try it for yourselves. 
let me know down in the comments how it goes and let me know of other recommendations or other things that we would like to see. So thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one.